The instruments featured in this Hello My Name Is video series are brought to you by Medline, Koenig, and First. Hello, my name is Cryl Forset, also known as a Cryl Hemostat. This is one of the uh, more common instruments that you're going to see in your stringer trays. Um, alongside of your mosquitoes and your Kellys, Cryls are all over the place. This is very, very common. One of the first instruments that you'll probably learn in your training. It is a smaller uh, clamp. This particular model that we're looking at today is six and a quarter inches long. It is uh, the curved variation of the cryo. You can kind of see that curve there at the end. They do come in a straight variation as well. Uh, just the normal serration patterns. Let's see if we can get you a good look on that there. Anytime you have serrations, you're going to want to keep a special lookout to make sure that they are uh, clean all the way from the tip to the box lock on both sides. Uh, speaking of box lock, we're going to want to look in there to make sure there's no cracks uh, or debris in your box lock. And coming down to your ring handles, you see that little ratchet there. Always want to test your ratchet to make sure that it's uh, locking and it's not loose once it locks. You can do the palm test. You can also do the table test, the slight uh, tap to make sure that that ratchet does not pop open. In general though, you know, you're not gonna see a lot of damage on your cryos. If you do see damage, they're gonna be in the box lock or they're gonna be damaged to the tip. You know, the tips themselves, they do get uh, kind of narrow towards the end. They're not a delicate instrument, by any means, but um, out of the entire instrument, that is the most delicate part there at the tip. At the tip, so just keep in mind that it is still aligned. A good alignment test, you know, looking at it from both sides, uh, top down. If you kind of hold it um, perpendicular to yourself, and then just open those jaws, close the jaws, and make sure that that alignment is still. Uh, straight on for both the jaws on both sides. Yeah. Again, this is your um, cryo forcep, also known as a cryo hemostat. Uh, this particular variation is six and a quarter inches, and it is the curved. Uh, I want to thank you for tuning in for this episode of Hello, My Name Is. And until next time, keep fighting dirty. Dirty.